Hola, Piperinos! Hey! <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Disney Beans. I'm Cherry. And I'm Gooch. And Josie is asleep because it's late. Because of aliens. <laughs> that's, exactly, it's that's exactly why. So, welcome, it's late because of aliens. So welcome back. Um, we're filming this on the same night. As we filmed the, the Mickey's Mystery Box for September, as you can tell by the clothes and the lipstick and the completely because out of our mind weirdness going on with it being so late. So, God. He's floating away. <laughs> Good night now, Mickey. So, so anyway, the reason that we're doing this video is we're, we're, we're um, going to talk about our top five quick service restaurants in the at the Walt Disney World parks, meaning all four of the parks that you can go to or, well, and, um, and at, and, and and at the, the resorts. resorts. Um, most the, of my quick service favorites are at the parks. So, yeah, um, I think most of mine are too. Uh, it is definitely a, uh, uh, a continuation of our top five series, which we... We had kind of fallen off schedule yeah, for a while because we got a little busy, but we, but and we've talked about that in other videos, but... Sh um, shuttling Josie to dance yeah. uh, four days a week is hot, is, is it's hard. Is in, in, in soccer and church. And, and between my bowling and all this and work. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's that work thing. You know, I, I feel like that guy in office space. I really, I really don't <laughs> want to work anymore. I, 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 don't feel, I, I just don't think I want to do that anymore. So... So any of you multi yep. multi billionaires out there could spare a million here or there, you know, just send a couple our way. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, that would that would you we know, will finance invest our Disney dreams. We, and, and, we, and we will we'll be philanthropists with it too. We'll we'll, we'll get well, back yeah, to the community. We'll get back to the community and you know, we'll volunteer and you know Well we'll bo well barring anything awesome like that yeah um, so, so anyway <laughs> so we're going this is our this is our, we are so out of our yes, minds are. tired uh so with right. that said top, top five quick service at Di walt disney World top Parks. five quick service okay but what is your number five my number five um is on my list for a couple of reasons the first one is because it has air conditioning and the second one is location because it's very central in this particular park at Hollywood Studios. It's the ABC Commissary. Yeah. Um, they have a pretty good burger. Um, they they have uh, plenty of seating. Plenty of seating. They have restrooms near. Um, and if you catch the right cast member, you can actually roll a sleeping child in inside in a stroller. Yeah. Um, we had one make us wake Josie up once, and then, but for the most part, we've been able to roll roll her stroller in there while she's sleeping. And it's a good yeah. place uh, for us to switch off for bathroom breaks. If we wanna, if we wanna do a rider swap, we can hang out and you know, one can hang out in there while the other goes and does a rider swap on what, like rock your, and roller coaster. Yeah, you can rest your feet. You can rest you your can... feet. I mean, and and the seat, like I said, the seating example is usually not terribly overcrowded, um, and it's central to the really the entire park. Yeah, um, it really is. And uh, you know, they've got that um, that uh, that bathroom that's right there attached to it, so yes. it's easy to get in and out. Um, the other thing, is, now it's located, um, if you don't know, kind of kind of behind uh, where American Idol Experience used to be, which is now uh, Frozen Ever After. Mm -hmm. um, and it's in that walkway behind that building. Yeah, it, it's right beside Sci-Fi Dining. It's right, by, it, right beside Sci-Fi Dining Theater. And right in, uh, right there where Ray Carpet Dreams is. Yeah, like you're headed toward... Um, Tattooing traders. Yes, yes. Um, so that is my number five. That's it. That's really good. Um, my number five is a, is one that you have not been to before, but I have. Uh, it's been in. <laughs> so, don't don't shake, don't shake. Um, this is a very uh, you precarious. You have been to before, but I have. That's not the way I meant it. I was just I was just pointing out that you have not been there with me. Please don't shake the thing. Oh, I can't or... open up laughing. Oh, stop! Stop! I can't open. I'm uh, but it's always been one of my favorites, and I think it's something that we should try because it's a very. They have really cool. Um, it's a it's a different type of menu. So you're saying I should try it since you've already been there. Yeah. So anyway, uh, it is located at Epcot in the Land Pavilion. It is Sunshine Seasons. Um, is, that, is that the one down by Soren? Yes. I've always wanted to try there. I just haven't. Because yeah. Because 
you're usually there for touring and the land, and living Love with the, the land, land and then we're out. Yeah, well, it's... Plus we're usually doing a opera or something like that. For yeah, that. Um, but it, it's got a really great, like, selection for food. Uh, one time when I was there, I don't know if this is a common thing, but, like, some of the cast members that worked there came out and started playing music. Like an African type music. It I've was, actually seen that before. It's really cool. I don't know if they still do it, but I, I always thought it was really cool. But to me, the food is excellent. Uh, it's different than your typical quick service fare, mm -hmm. and that's why I chose it. And maybe this this coming trip we'll, we'll try it. Maybe trip, maybe so. Yeah. So number five, my number five is Sunshine Seasons. What and is your number four, Gooch? My number four is drum roll. Pecos Bill Tall Tale Inn in Adventureland at uh, Magic Kingdom. Um, they have a great nacho bar, which is kind of... Uh, so, so what they do is you get the nachos, and it has the meat and cheese on it, and then you can build your own with the rest of the toppings. And they got, like, lettuce and tomato and sour cream and, and all, all, all the good stuff that you want on nachos that some people don't want, some people do want, and some people want a lot, of, a lot of this, and some people want a little of that, so you can get as much as you want it, but any of it. Um, but they also had a pretty good burger, mm -hmm. and they also have the, the taco burger is excellent. Yeah, and they also have the country bear jamboree mug. For, we uh, still need to get it. We still need. It's like a, it's like the jug that the guys play. It's like the the base mm -hmm. jug. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. um, so that that's uh, one of the uh, items that you can obtain there. Um, it has a lot of seating. The seating can be a little tight depending on where you are and how and it's crowded got those, it is. And it's got those barrel chairs. There's no they, back. They don't to have it. a back on it. It's like you're sitting on a stump, but it's, it fits the theme of being in the Wild West for Pecos Bills uh, yeah. Tall Tail Inn. But uh, the food is good. Um, you've got some good variety going on there. Um, and the location is good because it's, it's really it's right there near like Splash Mountain and Big Thunder Mountain. Uh, also, you got Liberty Square not far, mm -hmm. um, and you can. And it's just uh, just a quick walk through over to uh, Aladdin's Magic Carpet, Pirates of the Caribbean, and all that stuff. So, um, good. really good location. So. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, I guess we should mention that our criteria for this is not a place where you can get just a snack. You have to, be, to be able, able to get, get a, cool, a quick, quick service, service meal. meal. Yeah. So with a quick service dining credit quick service meal dining credit. Oh, I forgot to mention that at the beginning. Right. Sorry. Okay, so my number four, we're staying at Magic Kingdom, but we're going to take a little trip over to Liberty Square uh, for one, to me, one of the best quick service meals that you can purchase. Um, it is Columbia Harbor House. That's a good one. It's we really, spent a rainstorm there once. Yeah, we did. Uh, actually, we last trip. Yeah, the vlog. You should have seen the vlog. Yeah, you yeah. saw my. Well, was it like, December? December. It was trip December. Or it was December. It was trip, December. Yeah, because yeah, it was like right. It was before the uh, Tiana's Riverboat Party. Right. Um, but yeah, it to me, they they serve like. The, I guess the theming is like. Like rev like revolutionary uh, North it's, New England. It's, it's like colonial times. Yeah, colonial times in New England. New England, yeah. So you can get fish and chips, real fish and chips, lobster roll, chowder. Chowder. I mean, they they've got That's some. Good. They've got some excellent food. And if you've ever taken uh, the Keys to the Kingdom tour, uh, part of the purchase of that tour is lunch at Columbia Harbor House. We, we actually did lunch. Yeah, we did. Well, we just mm -hmm. said that we did yeah. lunch there in December. Yeah, so. but but we did we you also we also did got it with uh, uh, the Keys of the Kingdom tour yep. a few years ago and so um, and for Tian and for Tiana's Riverboat uh, ice cream party that's where you congregate for that isn't it Yeah, well Upstairs. some well I've seen where sometimes they will sit outside. Uh, like outside at the riverboat, it's, I guess it just depends. Maybe they had us inside because it had been raining earlier, I guess, and they but, wanted but to make sure they that they, yeah. But uh, but great food, plenty of seating, especially upstairs. They have an upstairs area that can that sometimes goes unnoticed. But that's... Sometimes goes unnoticed. It's not so it can be quiet. <laughs> they have a couple of little nooks where you can have a little bit of quiet time. Um, great place to just sit and chill, maybe plan the rest of your day. So. Uh, my number four is Columbia Harbor House. Put Gil down. Put Gil down. Put Gil down. Don't shake. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, I'll put on laughing. Ha 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 So anyway. So, okay. What is your number three? My number three is also located in Liberty Square. Man. Um, at Magic Kingdom, and it is Sleepy Hollow. Oh, um, I forgot about Sleepy Hollow. So this is where you can get the infamous fruit and Nutella waffle <gasps> sandwich. I'm drooling. And it is a quick service meal credit. So and cool. okay, so the location is kind of it's right there as you as you leave Main Street, headed toward Liberty Square. It's right there on the right hand side. It's just a little stand. Mm-hmm. Uh, this little building. It's got a, a window to order, and a window to pick up. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. It's got a couple out out a couple of tables for outside seating. Not much seating there, um, and it's little more than just a, a walk through line. Mm-hmm. However. The fruit and Nutella waffle sandwich is to die for. It is so good. It is, oh my gosh, good. I think and they have like a buffalo chicken they, waffle they, sandwich they do, too. They do, but, but, but that fruit I haven't Nutella. had that, but the fruit and Nutella waffle sandwich. When, when we when we first went and got it, we got it at the by the recommendation of some other bloggers. And I did not, I thought it was a snack credit at first. And I'm like, oh, it's kind of, I don't know if I want to spend a quick service credit on this and then I went and it's not a car and I get it and then I was glad I did because oh my, oh my gosh it was good because it's like really good and then you bite into that the fruit with the Nutella and it's like and the waffle all together oh my god it's so good yes yeah, so I really agree good. So, I, and so, I didn't even think about that so that's so, a good so one awesome so my number three is also in Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom's really good for quick well, service. The, the theming in Magic Kingdom quick service yeah, is great. Yeah, yeah. So my number three um, is one that you have mentioned already. Uh, it is in uh, Frontierland. Uh, Frontier. It is Pecos Bill. All um, right. At, for the same things that you mentioned, I love the taco burger. Oh my God, it's so good. Uh, like you said, with the nachos, plenty of seating. Not a whole lot that I can add to that other than air conditioning. Not a whole lot that I can add to that, but that taco burger is the bomb. So, boom. Hey, goes Bill. My number three. Hey, goes Bill. What's your number two? All right. My number two, um, (laughs) it's also located in Magic Kingdom. (laughs) And it may be the location of one of the best hot dogs you will ever be able to obtain. (gasps) And it's right at the end of Main Street as your, as your... As you're entering the castle area, yes. before you get, just before you leave Main Street, and it's on the left-hand side, and it's Casey's Corner. Yes. And, okay. The mighty Casey did not strike out with these hot dogs, because they're awesome. And they have a variety of different hot dogs you can get, um, mm-hmm. different like the, like they've got a that chili, style, che- the the chili, chili cheese, cheese dog. Um, they got foot long. They got regular, regular length. They've got the for kids. They've got the uh, corn, dog corn dog nuggets, corn dog nuggets which Josie loves. Um, but yeah, uh, the theming is great. They're all dressed in like you know turn of the century. I should say turn of the twentieth century. Um, uh, baseball outfits. Yeah, and um, sad we have to I actually know, have verify, to, have to verify what, which, century which century we're talking about. about. <laughs> um, so we're dating ourselves there a little bit. Um, you know, they've got outdoor seating. They've got some limited indoor seating, um, and it's right there uh, where you can get you know easy access to the Emporium, or or and there's a restroom right around the corner, so there's mm-hmm. restroom access available. Um, but but Casey's Corner, one of the best hot dogs you'll ever get. So there's my number two. Very good. So my number two, we're gonna leave at, we're gonna leave Magic Kingdom for once, and we are gonna go over to Animal Kingdom. Now, if it were based solely on food quality, this would be number one for me. Um, it is one of the best meals you can get at any restaurant, whether it be sit down or or uh, either table service or counter service. Um, it is the Yak and Yeti counter service. Okay, I'm just going to throw this out there. Yeah. You're number one. Yak and Yeti's my number <laughs> one. So we'll, we'll, so, we'll so, collaborate on this one. Okay, so to me, like I, like I said, now as far as seating goes, there's no inside seating. It's an outdoor thing. And, and it, it is limited it, it seating. It is limited seating, uh, but... The food quality is 
outstanding. If, if, if you like Asian cuisine world. at all, the orange chicken is great. The honey is it honey orange chicken. Honey, honey chicken. Honey chicken. It, it's it's, so it's really good. You, you like, get it. You get it in this huge uh, like Chinese takeout box, and it's got the chicken on top, and the, and, rice, and the rice is underneath. Um, you, so good. Oh my god, you put some soy sauce on, on those things? Oh my god, and it's so good. And it's I good. actually think it's better than the... I mean, I like the table service, Yak and Yeti, but to me, the, the counter service is out yeah, of the Yak and Yeti table service was very good. Yeah. And, but, and this, this was, but, but, the, but the quick service, yeah, yeah I, I have it number one for a reason, and it's because the food's really good. Yeah, I, I had some other factors I was taking into account, but the food is absolutely outstanding. If you have not tried it... Um, it, and like I said, the, the seating is limited, uh, but you can go over and, and... But where else can you go and eat Chinese food and watch monkeys fly around? That's true. <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, but if, if, you're, if you're there, to me, it's worth, you know, just trying to find a different... <clears throat> just find a place to cop a squat and, and, and eat this food. Yes, it's, it's really that good. good. Um, so, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, can that is my number one. So right. we'll just go ahead and move on to your number one. So my number one was your number two. <laughs> hey, we fucked It up. is Casey's Corner uh, for a lot of the same reasons. Like he said, um, I always get the chili cheese dog. Um, it's the best hot dog I've ever had, ever in anything. It's really good. And um, and and um, if you're if you're sit, seated outside, if you're well, if you're lucky enough to get a seat inside, um, they've got like some old like uh, baseball cartoons, like Goofy's baseball. Yes. Um, and it's a nice place to just Where sit. Where it's for taxidermy tech. Yeah. Now, if you're sitting outside, you get a great view of the castle. You might be able to catch some of the show or the um, the Move It, Shake It, Celebrate It. The parade. Uh, the yep. parade going on. Um, for me, it holds a special place as far as, like, memories go. Um, I, I said before that my first table service was the Whispering Candy Cafe. Uh, that I went to in 2001, but the very first restaurant period that I ate at was Casey's Corner. Um, it's got some my, sentimental, So it's got value. a lot of sentimental value to me, plus the food is really, really good. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Um, so that's our that's that's our list. Uh, do you have any honorable I, mentions? I do have some honorable mentions, and I'll run through them real fast. Uh, the first one is at Epcot. It's the electric umbrella. Um, really good location to catch some air conditioning. That's it's true. central in the park and there in Future World. Um, it's got a decent burger. It's got um, ample it's, seating. See, yeah, see air conditioning food, is see, like a big deal. Yeah, the air conditioning is, especially after going in May. Uh, but, you know, the food to me wasn't that It was. It was, uh, good. It was decent. It was okay. It was decent. It's an honorable mention. It's not. Um, and then... Uh, I do have another honorable mention on there as Columbia Harbor House, a really good, um, I really enjoyed um, the food there and I, w- I was thankful for the upstairs seating which wasn't as crowded and, yeah. and had plenty of space. Um, and then my final honorable mention, um, although this place kind of doubles as a table service and quick service, it's quick service for breakfast and lunch and it's table service for dinner, mm-hmm. it's a Magic Kingdom and the big thing here. The table, the quick service food um, was 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 just okay. The t- the table service food was really good. Was, the oh, quick okay. service food was just okay, but the theming is amazing. It might be the best themed restaurant on property. Oh, period. And I, oh, absolutely. Um, she knows what I'm talking about. Is be our guest. Absolutely. Um, and that's uh, at Beast Castle in in uh, the new Fantasy Land at Magic Kingdom. And you know, it didn't make my list. I think because I'm because you were thinking of it as a table because, service because I because I prefer definitely prefer the table service to the quick service food. Um, so my honorable mentions I'm going to add another one on since you had mentioned it uh, Sleepy Hollow for the same reasons. You're welcome. And, but I also love the view that you can have uh, if you get yeah if you, if you get, you get, get a, a table seat, there you get the castle there, right there the over castle the right there over the pond it's a beautiful view. Um, also, um, we're going to leave the park and for one honorable mention and go to our favorite resort, the Polynesian, for Captain Cook's. Captain Cook's was good. Really good burger. Yeah. Um, it was even good getting it takeout. Yeah, we yeah taking it back to the room. Yeah, he took it back. He he got it and took it back to the room. It was really really good. Um, uh, and another um, another one of my honorable mentions is also at 
a resort. It was at the resort that we just stayed at in May um, over at Coronado Springs. It is the Pepper Market. Okay, you know, and some people give Pepper Market a bad rap, but you know, it was pretty good. I, we ate there, what, two or three two times? Two or three times. It, it was, was good. really the good. Yeah, the, the Aztec burger was really good. Yeah. Um, and, you know, they, they've got a good variety of stuff, and the service was good. So may, maybe we caught them on a good week. Maybe they stepped up their game. You know, but give them another shot if you didn't have a good experience there because we had a good experience the times yeah. that we went. And like she said, we went three or four times. So Yeah, and I, I really, really liked it. Yeah. And my last honorable mention is one that you mentioned in your top five. It is ABC Commissary for a lot of the same reasons that you said. The, um, the location, um, decent food, uh, a nice place to just sit and, and chill. chill. Yeah, so... All right, so my top five were number five, Sunshine Seasons, number four, Columbia Harbor House, number three, Pecos Spill, number two, Yak and Yeti, and number one, Casey's Corner. And mine were number five, ABC Commissary, number four, Pecos Spill, Tall, Tall Tale, and number three, Sleepy Hollow, and number two, Casey's Corner, and number one, Yak and Yeti. Very good. All right, so... It's funny that we're, we're very similar in our list because we're yeah. similar in our taste. We're almost the same person. I know. Here, let's share brain. I think we do. I think we do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our next top five. Let me, let me think on this. Okay. Top five. One dining credit cable service at the resorts. Not in the parks. At the resorts. I can almost name that off now. Well, we'll Next video. How do you keep a turkey in suspense? Next video. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that'll Same be our Mickey time. So that'll be our next top five. Same Mickey channel. Yeah. So that'll be our next top five. Um, you probably by this by the time this gets loaded on, you've already seen our Mickey's mystery box. Uh, we also have a Smuggler's Bounty coming Tony. up. Um, and then we keep trip vlog. we keep the trip vlog going on, and we are going to do. I'm going to go to the store this this weekend and get the last component. Although we did add another Zoom, Darla. yeah, to our uh, um, to our giveaway, our 200 subscriber giveaway. Finally, uh, really, so, you know, we've had we've just had so much going on. I'm really really sorry. Okay, speaking of, I know which bird this is. I could not figure out which bird this was in the tiki room. He's no longer in the attraction. He's no longer in the Tiki Room. His name is Juan the Barking Bird. So, there you go. Okay. Is it? Okay, we are really tired. <laughs> so, uh, and our trip vlogs are every Wednesday. And we'll just keep making videos as we can. Um, so, we'll have hauls and... Yeah. All kinds of stuff. And I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm literally forcing my eyes open right so, now. So, on that note. So, on that note, for Josie. Cooch. I'm Cherry. And we're the Disney Beans. And as we always like to end our videos uh, to you guys, because we love you. Love. Peace. Rock. And a little bit of pixie dust. See ya. Bye, guys. We'll see you real soon.